5.30 in the morning. Um, me and Timothy have been buying things again, or more likely Timothy's actually been buying things again. So we are on a quick Monday morning run. Well, I'm gonna go pick him up in a minute. Up to Lewis to pick some stupid great thing he's bought up um, that doesn't in standard spec quite work properly. So the boot of the truck is loaded full of tools, diagnostic machines and spare parts. And um, I'm going to go and get him from his house for six o'clock, go and find some coffee and some fuel, and then um, point the dear Mercedes towards Brighton. Right, heated seats on, heater on, brain engaged. Lewis, here we come. That top quality purchase of the morning. I think we're in somewhere in Lewis. A little bit crispy. It's actually registered as a mobile crane, unbelievably. So, um, technically, it doesn't need an MOT, which is probably quite a good thing. Um, just run in 433,000 kilometres at Tum. Unbelievably, after a quick um, garage based alternator change, because that stopped working within about five miles, some coolant, um, some immensely expensive garage based engine oil, fucking £11.20 for a litre, we are cracking on. The alternator is now working, sadly, that seems to have brought the speed limiter back to life, so 56 mile an hour flat chat it is. Basically, we are trucking on like a big mobile rusty Vermont with 435,000 kilometres on the clock. But, she was cheap. Well, um, I'll do some figures on it when I get back. Um, I've got Timothy on behind. I mean, technically, this thing is legal. It, um, it is mo registered as a mobile lift of some description. Um, so, it's MOT exempt. Um, which I don't think is a particularly good idea. I'm going to take it back and make sure that, um, I mean, the tyres are good, the brakes are good. It's not even that rusty, it just looks awful. Um, which I make sure that, um, that it's properly legal and maybe put a crap bag on it. And at current, while well, I hit the PTO button for the versus the lift on the back, it stopped dead and now the PTO button doesn't work anymore. So we're assuming there's a fair possibility that might be an issue. So, a bit of fiddling with that as well. But we know, to be honest, status report, we're doing all right. Nothing's fell off yet, nothing's blown up. It's not overeating. We have got the water warning light on, but I think that lies because I've topped the coolant up and um, well, that didn't make the light go out. But after I say, after changing the alternator in the shell station, they were very nice to us. Um, that seems to have cured the, uh, the, uh, the lack of charge problem. And um, Onward, we are just coming into a something, I think. Right, I shall turn this off, turn it round, and you can do a bit of driving along with me. Radiator warning one doesn't work. 
with them. Fuel gauge has come back live. Alternate light, the seats has, has gone out, which is good. The um, radio doesn't work, so I'll take the whistle in. Um, we've been passed by two traffic cars, neither of which have taken any interest, which is a very upside, upside. And, um, and we haven't seen anyone from the Driver and Vehicle Safety Agency, which is probably a really good thing. Um, I mean, let's be honest, there's probably not a lot they can actually do to me, because I am technically driving my mobile crane. That's the means I can run the... Oh no, I can't run it on red diesel, because I've just changed the rulings on that. So no! So um, we've got about another... I reckon about another 60 miles to do. But you know what, I am quite impressed with my purchase. We'll, um, I reckon we'll, uh, we'll have one more of these before we actually arrive back at the yard, all going well. All breakage. And, um, and then we'll give you the grand tour of this top, top quality machine that we just had to have. Because why would you not want four and a half ton Versa to lift? Versa to lift. I mean, I can't think of a use for it, but apart from Versa to lifting things, a bit of cherry picking, but admittedly at the moment it doesn't work. It made attempts at working. I did press the PTO button when we first went and looked at it. That's got the engine dead, so we're assuming that there might be a problem there. So we pressed it again afterwards and then nothing happened at all. Um, and it stayed running. So we're assuming there's going to be some electrical issues and maybe some hydraulic pump issues there. But it has got a PTO gearbox that worst comes to worst. It's probably worth this about half as much as I paid for the truck. And um, the heater definitely works. It doesn't seem to turn off. And um, I know, I am doing me 56 miles an hour flat out. White peoples. Onwards. So, you can see it right before the good ship sprint up. We are still moving, which is quite amazing. Seeing this rather funky um, twin cab on VK1. Um, Mini Arctic with a sideboard on it, that's quite cool, isn't it? Um, anyway, we are still moving. Um, as we're in Britain, we are um, now stuck in a traffic jam. I think I've been stuck in a traffic jam for most of the day so far. I mean, it's only 130 miles from where I've come from. Well, it's 130 miles up, about, about 130 miles back, I suppose. So I have been stuck here on this pissing road now for about 45 minutes, bumbling along. Because um, the road's in such piss poor condition, the traffic lights don't work most of the way down. Everyone's building housing estates. Well, that would be brilliant, wouldn't it, to put more traffic in a piss poor, um, slightly knackered infrastructure. And um, anyway, but we are still moving. Yep, definitely still moving. Hills are still an issue. Stopping's all right. Suspension that hasn't improved. Being not able, being able to, well, not being able to turn the heater off is getting slightly annoying. But anyway, I will turn this off again because it's not very exciting looking at the back of um, the 44 tonner in front. I mean, the main problem is I have been behind this 44 tonner for quite a long time because once he actually gets going, he's faster than I am. Because I do still seem to have the 56 more the 90 k limiter. I've resorted to not pulling the tacker. So, zip wrap, good ship sprint up. The alternator that says it's charging is lying. Just by Southampton, and all the lights come on because we've run out of power. So, this of top quality master forgery. No, I shouldn't be holding the phone, but you can all scream at me later. So, off in the traffic jam, I have actually managed to pack wire a large jump start back through the cigarette lighter, which is currently supplying the voltage. The vehicle's engine max with the computer. Nothing like it, eh? Well, we're doing well. We 
Jerry Rick, cigarette lighter, still seems to be running the engine. Uh, off the jump pack in the passenger's footwell. Quite exciting when that happened halfway around Portsmouth. We are about four miles from the yard. Still moving. We are in gimp mode. And we are very happy. But still rolling. If you can call this rolling, we're rolling. We can't be revving at 2,200 revs, so this means we're running out of power. But four miles, four miles, and we're fucking done. Hopefully, four miles, and we're done. No language. Apologies, people. I'm going to go sit down, have a cup of coffee, and look at this top quality creation that we've got, just driven 125 miles back with no alternator or two alternators because the second one did seem to work for a while and then stopped and there's obviously something wrong with it. Oh dear. Everything seems to be coming apart, including my phone mount. Anyway, the joys of the commercial vehicle trade. Oh my god, everything's let up like the fucking Christmas tree again. I think we've run out of power. Well, we made it back in one lump. I mean, this is the um, top quality vehicle. We have actually managed to sort of get the lift working. Um, got a bit of Adam self lightning going on there, but it is all here. Um, I mean, you do wonder how people um, keep these MOT exempt, really. But, worth a laugh. So, there she is. 411. <laughs> CDI. Um, actually, it's not that manky. I mean, the coat of paint makes it look worse than it is, I think. But, um, anyway, project. So, got a bit of wiring to sort out. Definitely got a driver's seat to sort out. Um, definitely got a side loading door to sort out. Pretty square under here. Funnily enough, we have got the battery on charge because um, it don't charge, but we have figured out why it didn't charge. It um, actually wasn't an alternator in the end. It was due to some fairly exciting wiring going on on the auto shut off on the dashboard behind there. So, I'm not doing that again for a few days because that seat is immensely uncomfortable after two hours because half of it's missing. Oh, nice doors, we're getting good at doors. But anyway, there is the old goat. So, um, that's me signing off for the day because I've been out since five o'clock this morning retrieving this top, top quality vehicle. And um, I'm going to the pub for a pint now.